Hello and welcome to Weisman channel. Today I'm gonna talk about the most popular card in the world. Yes, I'm talking about the NXP Micro Classic 1K. You all seen them, you all heard them, and usually when you see videos about them, it's about hotel cards. And that's not so fun. But I have some other systems we're gonna look at. Let me show you. So today's story begins with my fur classics. I got two gym systems. I've been to the gym lately, well, the last years. And I was out for a new gym testing it out, and we got some wonderful, wonderful RFID cards. I got two cards, that's the best thing, so we can compare. Let me do that. Let me guide you how I do when I look in two things. First of all, I start out with Fortnite Info. It's a simple info card. You see it there. When people talk about UIDs, we usually talk about how many bytes does the UID have. And that means that you have to calc oh, count one, two, three, four to know it. The ATQA or answer to your request has nothing to do with it. And the Ooh. Select Acknowledge with SAK uh, doesn't have so very much more with it, but I will show you later on. But this UID has four bytes. It says that the PRNG is hard and it has a tag signature. This tells me that this card is a My Fair Classic 1K EB1, the modern ones. Normally you would just go with HF, MF, or the pawn. But since that's not how I do it, I usually go in for F check first. So I do that. And this will take some time. I try to be silent, but I'm not. It finds some keys, not only one or two keys, it finds quite many of them directly. This usually is an indication that it's not used. And this is an indication that we know about this system before and this we don't know the keys. Kind of interesting. Here's two paths though. I will normally just swap out the card, go into Fortnite for again, look at the new one, see it's an EV1. Looking at that UID, it ends with 64. And so does this. So it has kind of overlaps there. Even if a decimal number doesn't match up, but in my world, the hexadecimal numbers are more interesting. So the nibbles here kind of match up with the new one here. Now uh, that will tell me that the UIDs or ranges is not so far from each other. But it doesn't mean too much. If I run F check on this one as well, because I want to compare. Well, let's see what happens. We can deduce if there was a key diversification function or a key gen algo. Static key here, static key there. Same sectors, same card, same system. All right, cool. I will now go, I want to look at this and go like, huh. So where, where does this key belong? And for that, I need to go out of the uh, client. And then I take the rip grep. And let's see if because this is a columns. I want to see the key and I want to go and search it in the dictionaries. The keys default. And it shows that it is a third gym, the found key here, and there's an A key, so does us, so it's also an A key. And here's a B key. Okay, so there's a B key. All right, yeah, interesting. Let's go back into this, because that's a tell for us then, that I should run this with the default keys dictionary. Let me do that first. And we found a B key, also known, means that kind of static. I see that I run it against the next card, I swap the cards out. And 
and I see they found the same ones. All right, so it seems like we're using some kind of static default keys. Interesting. Now that key, as we said up here, belonged to another card. And I have that card here laying around. So let's swap over to that card because I'm curious. All right. Go for 14 info, see what similarities. Remember to talk about UID and the number of bytes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bytes. And you see that this change there. It's an EU1, but a seven byte UID. Something to know if you want to clone that card. If we run the F check against this one then, we should of course find all the keys, or hopefully, of course it was in the dictionary, and we do. So what does this tell us? It has a completely different B key, but A case, the A key is the same. Well, for me, it would be an indication that this is from the same gym administration system. Those two different gym chains, completely different. This is not at all the same ones, it's completely different. Big ones. They use the same system uh, to handle uh, uh, passage or uh, entries, gates, bookings and stuff like that, locks. And that this key could be site specific or customer specific. I haven't tried different keys from different gyms, but I I think it should be just customer base, but who knows? It's quite interesting. With that knowledge, I swap back to the first one, and now I do run the magic auto pawn because I like to get the dump files out, and I don't want to run anything else. I'm just going to do with the default keys as well, because I don't want to break any keys because we can find all the keys. We can't do like this. The dumping goes quite fast. Got all the keys from that one. This is the zero A. I swap out the card again for our next one. Run out pawn again because I want to dump all these cards now. That's what I want to do. I'm going to have a look at it. I'm going to have a look see. Swapping out again to the third one, run the same command. And we've got all of our members out. Now what? What can we do? Well, there is a nifty little command called data diff. And I'm going to start looking at the first two files that were saved. And that was this, and when was the 4a? That would be. Dash A, dash B, let's see, all right, all right. Okay, so this is the two black cards compared to each other, right? That's what we're looking. UID is a little bit different, of course, and it's not very much different. It's two sectors, one sector, and there's another sector here that has some data on it. This looks to be a copy of that one, and this looks to be a copy of that one. So this seems to be like a backup. So at either an alternative right on this sector and then it writes on that sector and this like, you know, keeping trail on the last time you entry. If you compare it to the other system here, yes, some parts changes and this one as well completely. So this could be an, I don't know what it is. However, this is interesting. This thing here we end. The same thing here and here. Same data, same thing. So I'm gonna do this. I'm you know, I have a sneaky suspicion. Let's see what we can do about it. Analyze, analyze, LC, oops, LCR. Uh, 
Paper. Um, yes. Moving spaces take some time. 2D. 2D. Sex 6F, 6F. All right, so this is an LCR of this data here. That's like a simple checksum to make sure that this is not you know, broken in complications. Somehow I get a sneak suspicion that this one is also done. Let's check it out. This is when you go for a hunch, you know, a gut feeling. Yes, so that makes sense. All right, so this data here is LCRs of these values here. These three sectors mm, seems to be kind of similar to these ones. And that goes for these ones here. So how does this compare against the other one? Uh, what was that one again? Good. All right, let's see. So this is compared with a green and a flat card, two different human chains. How much does the data change from here? Obviously a little bit more. The UD is a bit longer, so that's different, right? So that's manufacturing block anyway, so it doesn't happen. Here's the key changes, but there's no data as well. It's only data on the same two blocks, right? So this here is an LCR. Same as this one, I guess. So, of course, that's the only thing that's there. So, I test on this one to verify this one. Let's see if we get 80 there. Most likely this, it is the same system that we're using. This one here is completely different. This is no zeros in here and same thing here. So that looks encrypted. That looks like encrypted data or timestamps. However, remember that the first block didn't change between the two different ones, but they are compared to the other system it's changed. Um, Pretty sure that would this would be location or customer ID or something like that to keep track of. Let me see what this is. I'm just gonna have a yeah, let's see. 88. No, oh, that doesn't make sense, so it's not that. Uh, okay, cool. So let's check some for that one. Kind of looks like that, but yeah, it's not. So this changes. Interesting. Um, they don't seem to be using that one either, so I won't enter it that much. It's interesting, this seemed to be the most important data on this card, these two blocks here from these two different sectors. While this one seemed to have some updates here. There's a time limit on this one maybe, could be that one. I only had them for a month. Yeah, uh, so that's cool. And if you were to clone this one against a magic card, you would do a C load and make sure that your uh, magic card has seven or four bytes UID to match it and it has the same size. The magic uh, cards that can handle uh, signatures are not that many out there. It's only uh, the latest generation, generation four cards that can handle Vifer, Classic 1K, EV1 with signatures, so you can clone the signatures as well if you want to have a one-to-one -one copy. Uh, yeah. So that is it. Uh, yeah, you tell me what you like about this, but this is how I explore and look into the data that is stored onto these cards. Have a good one.